we be on uh, android 14 pro has a new display which has a bill shape cut out from the android user i can say i am using that for a long time because android devices has this whole punch display for a long time for this time iphone 14 pro has adopted this but they are implementing with a new ui design naming it dynamic island because of the new animations whenever any notifications come or music players and many things you get the idea so if you want to try that dynamic island animations on your android phone you can get this it looks cooler when any animations come up because it looks good so why not use that iphone 14 pro dynamic island on your android phone all you have to do is just you know install this edge mask applications i'm giving the link in the descriptions of course so after installing you just give to any permissions required permissions just in a well forum here you can see there uh, whenever you install for the first time so after that go to these settings of course it's a free app so you just have to see that so after skipping and you can see you have to disable all the toggle here just enable this samsung message style because it looks similar with the yeah samsung similar with iphone 14 pro animations after that go to the settings from here just select the black background color and white text after that you just change the durations according to your choice size and enable this margin it is disabled by default but you have to enable to make it look like the iphone 14 pro and vertically change this line and make it exactly the same line with your phone hole punch i'm changing it to like this looks cool so after that change the duration signs and match with your whole punch so that it can hide your whole punch or phone home screen and it looks cool whenever any notifications appear it will give it this kind of looks that exactly like the similar with iphone 14 pro dynamic display and you must have to change some settings because uh, system notification head ups will come out so you have to block this system heads up first here you can see i'm enabling these options after that you have to go a specific setting all the apps that gives you notifications yeah it's a pain because new android 12 or 13 don't give the permissions to change settings to these developer applications or third party applications you can say so like this whatsapp you have to go to this applications info then go to notifications form here you can see allow floating zap or your device manufacturer can be written as pop-up floating anything just disable this op this option disable it and you are good to go you just have to do this individually for on time all the applications and then you can have that dynamic notifications on your android phone that's it thank you guys for watching hit the like and subscribe also and see you in the next one peace out and don't forget to comment your opinion